Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting language lesson with me, your language guide, Athena. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of countable and uncountable nouns. I know it may sound a bit technical, but trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the difference between these two types of nouns and how to use them correctly in your everyday conversations. Have you ever wondered why we say trousers are, but news is? Or why we can't say, can you give me an advice? Well, today we're going to unravel these mysteries and many more. So get ready to become a master of countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. Like a chair, one chair, two chairs, three chairs, Ten chairs. Another example is an idea. You can say one idea, two ideas, and so on. On the other hand, uncountable nouns are nouns that can't be counted. Like water. You can say one water, two waters. It doesn't make sense. Information, traffic, or air. Many collective nouns, such as furniture, equipment, luggage, or traffic, are actually uncountable. They refer to a group or collection of objects and are always singular. In addition, abstract nouns such as information, advice, or progress are also often uncountable. They represent concepts, qualities, or status that cannot be counted. So, how do we know if a word is countable or uncountable? Don't worry, I have a few tricks up my sleeves to help you out. For example, liquids like water, juice, milk, or beer are always uncountable. Powders like sugar, flour, salt, or rice fall into the same category. Materials like wood, plastic, metal, or paper are also uncountable. And let's not forget those delicious foods like fruits, meat, cheese, or bread, they are also uncountable. But be careful, because fruit is uncountable, while vegetables are countable. But here's where it gets interesting. While uncountable nouns cannot be counted, we can still measure them. For example, you can say, I have four liters of milk or a glass of water. You see, you can't count the milk or water itself, but you can measure it with liters or glasses. The same thing is true for powder. You can say, I have one kilogram of salt or I have three kilograms of salt. 
with materials and food, we often use the word piece. For example, I ate two pieces of cake, bread or pizza, meat or cheese. We also use piece with items like paper, wood, plastic, metal. You can say, I need pieces of paper, wood, plastic, or metal. Additionally, you can use article some with uncountable nouns. For example, I have some water. Some is an article that always works with uncountable nouns. And hey, did you know that some words can be both countable and uncountable, depending on the context? Take cake, for example. When we say, I would like to eat some cake, it's uncountable. But when we say, I would like to eat two cakes, it suddenly becomes countable. Here's another example. I would like to eat some chicken. I would like to eat a piece of chicken. In both sentences, chicken is an uncountable noun. But in the last sentence, there are three chickens. In this case, Chicken is a countable noun. Why is this? Because in the first two sentences, chicken refers to the food. But in the last sentence, chicken refers to the animal, which is a countable noun. Chicken as a food is not countable. To summarize the examples, paper, uncountable, refers to the material used for writing or printing. A paper, countable, refers to a newspaper. Fish, uncountable, refers to the food or flesh of fish in general. For example, you eat fish. A fish countable refers to a whole animal, either alive or dead. For instance, there is a fish in the sink. Glass, uncountable, refers to the material. For example, the bowl was made of glass. A glass, countable, refers to a container or drinking vessel. Would you like a glass of juice? Time, uncountable, refers to the general concepts of time. For example, I don't have much free time. A time, countable, refers to an occasion or a specific period. We had a good time at their party. We also discussed that uncountable nouns are more general and abstract, while countable nouns are more specific. In addition, we mentioned some exceptions and peculiarities, such as plural uncountable nouns, like police, clothes, trousers, and scissors. You can't make these nouns singular. You can't say one police or one trouser. Remember to use a plural verb with these nouns. These trousers don't fit well. 
as well as the singular uncountable noun news. So don't say the news are depressing at the moment. In a set say, the news is depressing at the moment. We also touched on collective nouns, which can be both countable and uncountable, depending on the context and regional variations, such as staff, team, or crew. Some of these uncountable, like staff, and other can be countable like team or crew. Finally, we explore the concepts of making uncountable nouns countable by using specific nouns to quantify them. Rice is made up of single grains of rice. Here is one grain of rice. You can also have a bag of rice a packet of rice or a portion of rice. By adding a noun plus of, you can make an uncountable noun countable. Let's see how this works in some sample sentences. There was a single grain of rice left on his plate. Can you get Three of those big bags of rice. We'd like two portions of rice, please. As with rice, there are often many different nouns you can add to make an uncountable noun countable. You can give someone a piece of advice. Add a piece of to make a device countable. A piece of is very useful because you can use it to make many uncountable nouns countable. You can also have a piece of bread. With bread, you have other possibilities. A loaf of bread or a slice of bread. What about money? You can have a sum of money or an amount of money, for example. You can say, he lost a lot of money trying to play the stock market. For furniture, you could say a piece of furniture or possibly an item of furniture. Although this is very formal and not common. Finally, what about coffee? You could have a cup of coffee, a packet of coffee, a spoonful of coffee, or a pot of coffee. In all of these cases, there are other possible answers, but these are the most common ones. So that's it for this class. Here's a challenge for you. I want you to come up with collective uncountable nouns. Take a moment to think of groups or collections of objects or concepts that cannot be counted individually. Once you have your list, use an online dictionary like Longman or a paper dictionary to look up these words and see if they are countable or uncountable. Some dictionaries indicate this by adding a U for uncountable or a C for countable after the noun. Once you've completed the challenge, I encourage you to comment below and share your findings. Thank you for participating in today's lesson on countable and uncountable nouns. I hope you found it both helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video and would like to receive more language lessons and tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel.
by subscribing. You'll never miss an opportunity to improve your language skills.